thinking of moving to the Oklahoma City area and you're wondering if Yukon, mm. Oklahoma might be the place for you. Well, saddle up because we're going to jump into the pros and cons of Yukon, Oklahoma. Stick around. Thanks so much for joining us today. As mentioned in this video, we're gonna be discussing the charming suburb of Yukon, Oklahoma, which is located on the west side of the Oklahoma City Metro. As you'll soon discover, it's got its own unique vibe and certainly plenty of quirks, kind of like your odd but lovable aunt who shows up at every family gathering with some new strange hobby. Yukon was established in 1891 and was named after the Yukon Territory of Canada, as well as the famous Yukon River that flows into Alaska. Fast forward to today, and Yukon is home to some 27,000 residents and steadily growing. It's known for its rich Czech heritage, great school district, and a community spirit that'll make you feel like you stepped on the set Hopefully of a small town definitely. sitcom. So we're gonna get into all the good and the bad of Yukon here shortly. But first, if you're thinking of moving to the Oklahoma City area, whether it's in the next few weeks or few months from now, I would absolutely love the opportunity to help make a smooth move right here to OKC. You're gonna find my contact information in the description below, so please feel free to shoot me a call, a text, or an email, or even better, click the link below to schedule a one-on-one -on -one video call with me so we we can discuss how I can help you buy that perfect home here at OKC. Now, with that out of the way, let's talk about Yukon. If you're someone who loves to get involved with local events, you can always pack your calendar with activities in Yukon, Oklahoma. From the Freedom Fest in July, the Chisholm Trail Festival, or a variety of other fests throughout the year, there really is always something happening. And these events aren't just for show. When you go to one, you'll see they really do kind of foster a sense of togetherness throughout the community. Another example of Yukon's strong sense of community and rich cultural heritage is every year when the city hosts the Czech Festival. This is basically a huge block party with traditional music, dances, and of course, kolaches. Which are so good, they should probably be illegal. So if you're the type of person who wants to live in a place where people actually know their neighbors and everyone kind of looks out for each other, Yukon might be a great fit for you. Just be prepared to have conversations with random strangers because, well, here in Oklahoma, that's just kind of what we do. Another big plus for Yukon is the great school system, which Niche.com gives a solid B+. They're known for their strong academic programs, excellent extracurricular activities, and they're really good sports teams. And let's be honest, having good schools is a game changer, whether you have kids or might be thinking about resale value down the line. After all, you don't want little Timmy to end up making YouTube videos about the pros and cons of moving back in with his parents. So Yukon schools, definitely a win for you and Timmy. Speaking of kids, let's talk about how family friendly Yukon is. The city boasts plenty of parks, playgrounds, and community centers that really cater to families. You've got the Yukon Community Center with its awesome fitness facilities and programs for all ages, and Chisholm Trail Park, which is awesome for family picnics or even jogging, or just letting the kids run wild from a safe distance so you can contemplate your life's decisions. And let's not forget the Christmas in the Park event, where the whole town turns into a winter wonderland with light displays that are nothing short of magical. It's it's like stepping into a Hallmark movie, only with fewer predictable plots and hopefully more hot cocoa. Now, let's talk about something that's sure to put a smile on your face, affordability. The median home price in Yukon, Oklahoma is right in line with that of Oklahoma City proper, right at $265,000, which is well below the national median of nearly $430,000. And the overall cost of living in Yukon, Oklahoma sits right around 10% lower than the national average. You can find a wide range of homes from the growing number of new home communities or charming pre-existing homes of all ages, all at prices that won't make you feel like you need to dip into Timmy's college fund. And with Yukon's recent growth and development, there are plenty of options for most budgets. So if you're looking for somewhere that your money will go a little bit further, Yukon's a solid choice. Just try your best not to spend all those savings on kolaches, no matter how tempting they are. Trust me. One of Yukon's biggest advantages is its proximity to Oklahoma City. You're just a 20 minute drive or so from downtown Oklahoma City, giving you easy access to big city amenities without all the hustle and bustle. Wanna catch a Thunder game? No problem. Need to hit up Bricktown for some nightlife? You got it. It can really be the best of both worlds. You get the peace and quiet of suburban life with all the major perks of the big city city. And trust me, some days after dealing with the crowds and the city traffic, you'll be grateful to retreat to the tranquility of Yukon. All right, let's shift gears and talk about some of the downsides of living in Yukon, Oklahoma. First off, if you're a night owl or someone who loves a vibrant nightlife, you might find Yukon to be a little bit lacking. Sure, there's going to be a few restaurants and bars where you can grab a drink and some grub, but if you're expecting a great nightlife scene with clubs and late night spots, I hate to break it to you, you're probably going to be disappointed. Yukon is definitely a little more, let's have a nice quiet evening at home type of place. Sure, as I mentioned earlier, if you get a wild hair and want to go 
experience nightlife, you're just a short drive from Oklahoma City, but if your idea of fun includes lots of clubs and dancing and, you know, being single and ready to mingle, you might consider a place a little less quiet and small town than Yukon. Next up on the list is the daily commute. While Yukon isn't too far from Oklahoma City, which is why it's listed in the pro section, Yukon is definitely more of a bedroom community, which means that most people who live there actually work in Oklahoma City. So to be honest, for some people, those daily work commutes can be a bit of a drag. The drive into the city can be 20 minutes or even 30 minutes with traffic, so if you're doing that a couple times a day every day, that quickly adds up. So if you're not super pumped at the idea of possible daily commutes in and out of the city, might be something to consider. Related to commutes is the issue of public transportation, or rather, the lack thereof. Yukon doesn't have a robust public transportation system, so owning a car is pretty much a necessity. Though I've said this before, this is pretty much true of anywhere in the OKC area. So if you're coming from a city where you can rely on buses, trains, or subways, it's gonna be a bit of an adjustment. If you're not a fan of driving or car ownership, it's definitely something to keep in mind and the associated costs with it. It's a good thing you didn't spend all your money on kolaches. Or did you? Not me. Now let's talk about something that affects everyone, the weather. Yukon, like the rest of Oklahoma, experiences some pretty extreme weather conditions. We're talking scorching summers, chilly winters, and a tornado season that could be pretty nerve wracking if you're not from this part of the country. While living somewhere where you can experience all four seasons is pretty nice overall, the reality is the weather here can be unpredictable and sometimes severe. So if you're not prepared for the occasional tornado drill or the blazing summer heat, truth is you might find it a little challenging sometimes. All right, let's talk about limited shopping and entertainment options. While Yukon has its share of local shops and eateries, it definitely doesn't compare to the vast array of options that you're gonna find in OKC. If you're someone who enjoys shopping at the biggest malls or dining at the newest, trendiest restaurants, you might find Yukon to be a little bit limiting. Although I will say Yukon is rapidly growing even in the commercial department, so more and more options are becoming available. But for now, if having a wide variety of shopping and entertainment options right at your doorstep is something that's important to you, Yukon very well might be too quiet for you. And for many, that's perfectly okay. On the other hand, if you'd prefer an OKC suburb that has far more of its own city options, Edmond, Oklahoma might be worth considering. And if you'd like to learn more about the Edmond area, follow me over to this video right here. And as always guys, until next time, I certainly hope to OK. See you soon. See ya.